Uh, this is to serve as an MK Ultra proof. Uh, it's very important for me. I got a lot of recordings, but this one here is very meaningful to me. Uh, let me put it this way. It's because it's meaningful to me because I told you about a children involved in MK Ultra, and I did go down. I told you that even a forty years old children were involved in MK Ultra. Um, in this case, which I've done one today, I have identified a 24 year old, uh, however, all the way to his age 10, which was, uh, that goes back to year 2009, 2008, 2009. And what's interesting about this young man is that um, Slovenian government, talking here about psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, Novo Mesto Police Department, uh, and then politicians in Ljubljana, they used one. Uh, through the home for elderly people, where the home for elderly people is where my father is at, as a ghost worker. Ghost worker, that's somebody that is actually not working at particular location uh, with certain position, whether that be, like in Poland was a lot of that stuff, stores which did not exist, uh, it actually appeared when I was brought to Poland with the people that worked in other stores, whom I have also identified, and would disappear those stores, and would appear when I came to Poland, and then people would be like, Looking at strange, uh, I did not make mistakes because I figure out on time about what went on, but easily I could have made a lot of mistakes. So not necessary because you have not heard me uh, pointing at uh, a ghost workers, ghost stores. Uh, and it was not about only stores, it was about retail on the street stores like this. It was about all, in all kinds of, uh, in a variety of government uh, or private enterprise businesses, um, through all sorts of backgrounds, so all backgrounds, every walk of life, basically, is what I'm trying to say. They have used you know, ghost workers. Now, what separates me from 99.99% .99 of the people uh, is really accuracy, my ability to smell a setup before uh, I could fall into the trap. <coughs> and the next thing is that if I get myself into a trap is what separates me, the ability to pull myself out of the trap by somehow proving the point that in fact I do know an individual uh, I am referring to. And this case was no different. This was a very tough case. Today I went for a visit to my father. Today was, actually it's already July the 27th, but I did go to visit father at the July the 26th, that was yesterday, to see how he's doing. Uh, and uh, it was this gentleman uh, I have met upon my, prior to my, uh, during departure, you know, as I was leaving the building, uh, he would be 
in uh, the lobby area next to the elevators, right where I descended down through the elevator. He was going to take another elevator. Uh, and appears is working in the kitchen. And what's interesting is, is that um, it looked very young man, but I was resolute about him. 100% I was positive I know him from 2008. In fact, that he was working in this place at home for elderly people. Uh, and uh, he said, that's impossible. That's not possible because I said, how come that's not possible? I mean, because I'm 24 years old, and so I took the calculator in hands, and I calculated, and I figured out that back then he was age 10, that he was 10 years old. And I said to myself, this is perfect. Uh, yeah, under every circumstance, that would really be impossible. But if you know your business, you know your business. And so I told him, I said, you know what? Yeah, you, you were uh, 10 years old. But I'll tell you that at 10 years old, you were really, really big. I told him, how tall, were, how tall exactly were you at when you were 10 years old? And he said, well, he said, that's true, he said. I was 1 meter 80. So that's almost about my size. That's pretty big. So 1 meter 80, I was correct. And then I made a mistake because I suggested, that, and I know, I know your mom. Uh, you have a beautiful mom. And I said to myself before, he said, yeah, every mom is beautiful. But the thing about his mom is that she's actually quite sexy. So, you see, when it comes to moms, when it comes to females involved in MK Ultra, uh, that's when I uh, fast track real fast. And so I said to him, I said, yeah, yeah, I said, that's right, that's right. Um, and I said, you had a sister. And you also have a sister. And he said, no, I don't have a sister. No, you see, that's already a trouble. Uh, good luck to me with this. Uh, and I said, I said, you know, I said, oh, we can let go just like this, this stuff, you know. I said, no, no, wait. So uh, he said, I have a brother. He told me that he has a brother. No sister, but that he has a brother. I said, shit. Good luck with this, Sebastian. But no, you know, no. I got already several slaps. I. I figure out, no, I can't let go, I gotta, I gotta get done with it. So I, I told him, you know, but your brother that you said that you have, your brother is older than you are, for one thing, he's older than you are. Uh, and he said, yeah, that is true, that is true. And I said, for another thing, your brother compared to you, is you have a light hair, is like light complexion, even sort of blonde, as he demonstrated me afterwards, he took the hat down. Uh, opposed to you, your brother is of a dark complexion, he's got a dark hair, he's got a dark hair. And he said, oh, yeah, that's true too, okay. Um, what else? Oh, I said, since your brother is dark hair, and you are very light complexion, even blonde, uh, I'm gonna say that your mother is also blonde, very light, also light skin, light, light, light hair. And he said, yeah, that's also true. So, boom. Uh, there you have it. They have used, they have used, um, they have used, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all kinds of reminders like that. Um, yeah, cool. It makes things more interesting. Um, they have used uh, a 10 year old boy even as a ghost worker, like through the, what appeared to me already back then, like he worked in the kitchen or something like that.
so I was sure that I saw him. Uh, it's a tall guy, taller than myself, about like 10 centimeters taller than myself. Um, and um, he had beard, you know, beard, uh, quite a big belly. He gained a lot of pounds. Uh, and I am not going to hide behind these issues because it was, I'm not going to say it was my fault, but this case uh, touched him deeply, emotionally. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch even the nurse Yanko, who is employed at this home for elderly people, had a tremendous impact on his brother and on him. His brother was a dark, darker complexion, like dark complexion. Uh, I had affinity during MK Ultra for the people with a light complexion. Uh, and as much as his brother defended me because of my attitude they developed in me uh, he started to see me in a very negative light and have gone to the other side to Yanko to the psychiatrist cops Yanko police and so on who cook all this shit uh, was his brother who was light skinned I had no idea that this was such a young kid I mean because it was so big uh, he resisted for some time and even sympathized with me and they got on top of him uh, and they caused him a lot of psychological harm, damage. Um, oh, it was psychiatrist Peter Kopsch who stated and police even suggested that I'm going to have to take care of this kid and so on. The thing is that I don't think, I don't know about these people doing anything other than damage throughout this whole ordeal. Uh, this kid is extremely nice kid. He is too damn polite. It's a big kid. He still is a kid, you know. I could easily be his father. Uh, the thing is that uh, with such a big kid as he is, you know, he is about like 193, 195 centimeters tall. Uh, you know, he had like enormous potential in life. When I go back in time, uh, this kid could excel easily in every aspect of life. Yet they started to do him psychological harm and make no mistake how easy it is to destroy children and young kids and it doesn't matter how big and so on and strong or whatever uh, and so I deem that he is gonna remain part of my team uh, because you know I don't like seeing people falling apart for one thing and you know it kind of takes me to the time when they did so much bad stuff to me that is just unbelievable what they have done to me. I think you could, with 5% of what they have done to me, you could break any adult person. I mean, is is incomprehensible damage these people have done to me, you know. Uh, they destroyed me education, they, get, they destroyed me career, they destroyed me life, they burned me everything in life, every possibility in life. You know. now I'm still somehow alive, but uh, they don't give up. Uh, these people are violent, and I know for sure that something not that it can be done for the kids like this, but it's got to be done. Something has got to be done. Uh, he's young, he is, he's extremely well behaved, he's a very gentle kid, uh, 
very nice kid uh, and uh, I don't think he had anybody on his side that would actually give him a backbone that would actually be behind him you know and basically fuck this bullies up because these are bullies they're criminals and they harm people simple as this you know let's go to the audio recording i am going to use this as additional mk ultra proof but i like to close this stuff because really the next thing i want to do is i want to send the police complaint to various agencies police department and stuff like this and so for me to prove the point that they have even used children it's a child 10 years old it's still a child come on as a ghost workers they have used 50 percent 50 5 0 percent at least of the residents inside of the home for elderly people so therefore the, the the pensioners the people that way before they became residents inside of this home for elderly people as a ghost not workers but ghost residents something also i have proven but i like this case it's actually the first one that goes all the way to 14 years backwards and proves the point that Parallel to all this stuff, they have even used kids to orchestrate to prove something like you, you, you know, you're confused, you don't know one, and so on. So I'm going to use this as an ultimate proof of ghost worker whom they have used at his age 10. Age 10, that's 14 years back. So let's go with the audio recording. I'm having a little difficulty with this headphones, supposedly, uh, that it shouldn't be a problem because a little earlier I could hear clearly the sound. So now I don't know what that's supposed to mean really here. Now, shall we see if because all right, so what do we do with this stuff here? What we do is we go back here and we're gonna use some of this stuff here and sure enough. Yes, this is a problem with the headphones. That's crazy. These are new headphones I just got. seen anything like this yet. Hmm. Okay. Uh, crazy stuff, isn't it? Uh, but I am not going to go and F myself and record another video. This was purchased today. This is not working. Uh, it was in the store where they plant me with the power banks and that kind of stuff. It's actually right next to police department. So, it looks like they did this pretty well. This I just plugged them in right now. Uh, it worked. And voila, it doesn't work now. Okay, so
Um, what the hell is this now? Uh, okay, the thing about it is like this, that whatever they have done to the windows, uh, the windows are being remotely controlled entirely. I have not silenced the audio. I got no reason to do this right now. You were able to see uh, even. Basically, before I go on, because this is, anyhow, this is for the police. So, for the police to see. So, I'm going to stop this stuff a little bit. This is extremely, extremely disturbing. I mean, this is really, really, really the stuff that is quite, you see the black, you see this black background. Those are the issues they are using to drive insane. And, you know, uh, it's based on unsaved thing. Uh, I don't actually have anything that would be black, but because the computer is remotely operated and the nurse Yanko was good enough to tell me during MK Ultra that when you get this version of the Windows and this version of the Windows I believe was planted to me on the USB key when I exited my room and went inside of the kitchen to get something to eat that evening that night because I worked very long hours the room right next to my mine uh, I believe there was a person inside went inside of my room switched me the USB key and I ended up installing very very wrong windows um, that's because I, I just couldn't install the windows I had a problem but once I returned back from the kitchen into my room all of a sudden I plugged the key the USB key inside and the windows installed themselves smoothly without any problems uh, there were some other issues they also have discussed during MK Ultra, such as that they have figured out all the windows such as mine and they're going to be doing stuff like this as a matter of fact were giving me examples of what you have seen right there is going to be taking place through the use of this windows and as soon as I see stuff like this I have to install other windows Nurse Yanko from Home for Early was one of the people who was involved in this case next to psychiatrist Peter Kops, like one of the top people, like maybe one of the top five participants involved in MK Ultra, it just happened so, was a Nurse Yanko. Uh, he, with a passion, was telling me that if I'm going to change Windows, they are going to be stealing me all the passwords uh, bank information, stuff like this, and fuck me. So, fuck me, go ahead, make my day. Yeah, go ahead, make my day. Anyhow, I'm gonna make your day one of these days. As I said, the next step I have to do is report this stuff to the police department. Uh, the screensaver is, I have no idea. Uh, I have totally other pictures I have used as a screensaver uh, and those pictures uh, don't match anything that you have seen right there uh, such a thing like a black screen that is based on even unsafe thing uh, if you change this to whatever you change it goes straight back and the screen becomes again black like just like you see it uh, now, it was interesting because I use uh, this type of, uh, uh, that you see right there, as uh, just as for the account, that's what I also have as a background and its desktop, is background, but, but what's interesting is, um, what the fuck is this I mean uh, I don't even have ability to remove this color this black color I don't have the re ability to remove one uh, wait a minute uh, so uh, 
the thing is that you can remove this fucking thing. You can't do anything about it. There is nothing you can do. And whatever the colors that you use, whatever the hell is that you use, uh, make no mistake, it's going to go to black. And that's was used at large during MK Ultra to in, intimidate with my father's death. It was. It's all related to the hope for elderly people, where my mother is going to take tomorrow a running shoes for my father. Uh, that was interpreted to me that father that cannot walk now is going to start the running shoes and the stuff like this. Soon he's going to start the running and she's going to be on the sky. Very sadistic, very sarcastic. Uh, I am being assaulted like this every fucking five minutes as I would change the a screen background it would turn into the black and as you already would think that this is based maybe on some kind of a screensaver or something like this that this eventually has something to do with uh, perhaps a screen changing the colors uh, screensaver does not exist here Uh, I, 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 don't, I didn't even play with it. Um, it was set like that automatically would change uh, the screen saving options, which I'm not going to go and see this stuff again. Sleeps, create a power plan, choose. Uh, the thing about it is that... Um, The thing about it is that uh, I don't even have this stuff, and uh, it's 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 being changed to the black color. Uh, what um, what I want to say to you is that it did have like uh, how can I say it did have like a feature that would be like let me see this here for the ribbon ribbons. Um, It would be changing basically what set up somehow that would be changing automatically would be playing different uh, at teams. Uh, but the thing about it is that I have removed that option and uh, even if it would be playing a different teams, whatever would be doing, changing the colors, whatever, as it was set up. Uh, it doesn't set to anything else than black. It just stays black. Everything is black. That's all there that is. Um, but this is exactly what I was told that in MK Ultra the case is going to be. This is this is nasty, nasty, violent stuff through which police gets it right one way or the other as for the convenience straight into my personal space. They intrude they change uh, whatever feeds them best to do whatever the hell they want to do and that's about it basically I don't know desktop background this is it right solid colors uh, Windows desktop picture library top rated photos solid colors downloads uh, Windows desktop backgrounds um, It was this I think it was Windows desktop backgrounds uh, And I changed that into exactly what I stated and into my customized a picture with a flag and stuff like this and it just changes automatically to black color now once it gets black it never goes back it stays black and that's all there is and you were able to see the black color here is actually based even on unsaved theme unsaved unsaved uh, this one is also unsaved, whatever. The thing is, it doesn't matter because it's going to go back to black anyways.
this shit is driving me insane. It's 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 very very crazy stuff they do, but they do it. Uh, it it's it's something I was told it's going to be, and it's exactly what they do. No, I do. I did not register this Windows. Uh, the Windows key, yeah. I have to insert one. I don't know whether I will not. Whether I am gonna go and uh, do another one. Uh, the problems are too many to count. This is again a new hard drive, new Windows I have installed. Uh, it pulls the windows within like 15 seconds. It's a solid state drive. Uh, this is a Windows 7. And previously I have installed on a hard drive, also state solid hard drive PNY. A very good company, very highly recommended hard drive, uh, which I have bought here in Slovenia. And exactly according to police, as they told me, uh, the hard drive, as you would get one, you would plug one, it will work to you one day, two days, something like this, then the only thing that's going to happen is the hard drive is going to drop to 94% uh, health-wise, and it, it, it took him, I don't know, uh, a minute and a half, two minutes to load the windows and all kinds of crazy shit. The box again was open, the thing is, I'm drowning with so much crime that I have a lack of energy and time and everything next to the health problems they have created uh, to fuck with these issues because it's more important stuff also to talk about. And I really didn't get any kind of assistance from anybody that would be expressing interest next to the uh, items which I purchased as new. Uh, and I have documented, video recorded, and nobody actually expressed any kind of interest in stuff like this. I don't want to waste time like this anymore. But this is where we are at right now. Uh, they are doing this, they are arranging stuff, they are doing wild stuff, they are fixing you know, basically the windows, uh, the way the way it, it, it fits them, the way... <laughs> check this out. Hello. 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 They're doing the stuff, stuff the way they, they just, just feel like, like it's is right for them to do it. Simple, Simple as this. So, so. Um, um, that's basically the way it works. Uh, uh, they continue to modify, modify uh, uh, stuff, stuff according, according to whatever, whatever they feel they have the right to do it. Do it. Or their property, I suppose. That's how it goes. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to go and concentrate on on this audio I produced. Since I started this subject. And, um, you know, th th this, this is quite heavy subject. I'm going to demonstrate you uh, maybe some of this kind of stuff that you can see. Maybe that's interesting. Uh, that you're not going to be, you're not going to think that I'm making up this, this things, something like that. I'm really not making this shit up. see what else do we have we had this kind of stuff <laughs> I was looking for the most genuine copy of the windows from the internet and you know they don't give one at the Microsoft anymore this is as genuine as I came close to uh, but I don't think that these are the windows I have uh, installed on my laptop and if this are the windows installed on my laptop there are too many issues uh, too many too many ways to to cause damage uh, they planted everything you know they destroyed my computers vandalized them stole them as I purchased new 
it was delivered all used and different model uh, through the internet uh, and on top of that they went ahead and stole the money uh, they went ahead and break me the computers which I purchased and stuff like this I can't because financially I cannot it's impossible to catch up the step with these people seriously this is just too much to to deal with basically it's too intensive it's attack basically after attack they're just that's all they're up to it, it kind of uh, causes me problem also when I think about that I should be doing something else right now and I'm bragging about this shit like this let's just close this down and let's go with the audio recording so this was recorded on July the 26th 2023 let's go At the store buying these headphones, let's see what else. Heading toward father. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this here to all of the red cola. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to this copy paste boom and take this down. I want this to look as authentic as possible. I don't want. Uh, by the way, this audio recording is 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 is, is really. Why am I posting this stuff? On, uh, on the internet uh, this is actually really a terror a real-time terror right now for a nurse Yanko and psychiatrist Peter Kopsch now you believe this they insisted me during MK Ultra only if you would identify man should this guy but that's impossible and so on and so forth uh, they were gonna use him as something to intimidate with uh, before my eyes flash and like every other issue, it just turned like in a critical moment. See, you can't do anything to this case anymore. But it just goes. That's why. That's why I'm posting this stuff. I'm posting this stuff so that you can got numerous recordings to put it on. But I like this because it it just goes to show how low they went in all this stuff, using a ten year old uh, to prove it their way, basically. A shadow workers, uh, people that were nowhere employed in, in this facility, stuff like this. They use people at the, at the lobby, and all kinds of people, volunteers and so on, and all kinds of stuff went on. All right, there is much more stuff than this, but I like this because the kid was 10 years old when he popped up at this, at this place here uh, to demonstrate his skills in a kitchen uh, advertised himself as a as a shadow worker so we're gonna use this here yeah Hi, how are you? So I come down with the elevator. Uh, I see the kid. The kid looks familiar to me. Um, the kid is big. I mean, he's bigger than me, but you know, he's, he's just a young man. I mean, this always was a nice. I told him, you know, I remember you. I remember you. Uh, and so, yeah, I'd be getting this stuff like this all the time. This is like a reminder uh, for me. I don't know. I have no idea what, but you know, this is this is this is this kind of stuff. I was promised. I was told the case is going to be. I I remember you already for quite some time. You know, I told him. 
you are being here already working for a very long time, I told him. Uh, I told him, you have been here already, I don't know if I told him, but in a little bit, I told him, you have been here already since 2008. Uh, and yes, and he says, no, I am here since February. So, we have the shadow worker here, he says, I'm here since February. I said, oh no, uh, I am not traumatized or anything like that, with that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, it did happen before, uh, so I have a case like this, and so I'm trying to be humorous, and I say, oh no, uh, you're here since February. I go, wow. And I said to him, and you never worked here. And he said, no. And I said, ghost worker. I said, ghost worker, not shadow worker, but ghost worker. And he is laughing and he says, maybe. He says, I know, I know you were here, I know, I know. I said, no, you know what? I said, let me... Yeah, I am basically placed in a situation where I have no choice other than to pull out of my sleeve ace or fail indefinitely. So, I decided for the first option. I said, I, now I have to go and pull the information out of where you were before and all that stuff. And that's very complicated. Um, so, um, I am trying my best. Uh, so I said to him, you know what, let's try from a different perspective this. You know, I, uh, I have a proposition. So I go from a different, I'm using a logic, and the first thing I want to do is, um, what I want to do here is a simple thing, alright, I want to play safely, and so what I do is, I don't go and ask questions, uh, but I'm plainly using a logic, and with the logic, I want to get his answer as per uh, whether he already worked at the age like 2012 and so on, which is inadequate, it's not okay what I'm doing, it's wrong. Um, But the thing about it is, if I get the answer from him that he at least worked on some other location already, that kind of a gives me a chance, the ability to say that he already started to work like a part-time, like a help assistant in some place and so on. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe at age... Yeah, since it's like this, maybe at age uh, 12, uh, excuse me, 10 years back, that would be 14. Yeah, so at least this, if I can get, and I have a beginning. And he says, no, I did not, I did not, you know. So now I am even more against the wall.
So yes, I asked if he worked in 2012, that if he assisted in 2012. I don't like what I'm saying. I don't like to say 2012. I, I don't like that. That sucks actually. Because I'm certain on 2010, I am 100% about 2010, uh, even 2009, and I am so certain about it because of, because of other issues, because I picture him with other people inside of the building, inside of this building. Uh, I am coordinating now with the time why and how I have seen him here. And so uh, something is telling me, 2009, basically, 2010, 2009, even 2008. And I really want to be brazen, and that's why I said 2008. Which is like, a rather against all odds, yeah? If you would be trying to, if you would be trying to manipulate, or you would be trying to guess, you would never be doing stuff like this because it doesn't make any fucking sense. If you would be guessing the way I guess, even already in respect to all other recordings prior to this one, it would be like you would be committing a suicide. You would not be succeeding in absolutely anything. And I do use this kind of technology, therefore utilize pure, raw, memory-based, uh, everything events based on memory, uh, to demonstrate that there is absolutely no uh, calculation, there is absolutely no such thing as uh, uh, algorithm some kind of logic like this that would be that I would be using. I am absolutely not using that. I am doing this to demonstrate raw power, memory power basically, strength, the ability to go into events and point out, describe the people. I do this deliberately in a stupid uh, age of people uh, such as Elon Musk who were involved in this stuff and who claimed me that I will not even have the ability to prove that it is me uh, recalling the events and people and stuff like this because it's going to be the age of artificial intelligence you know and it really 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 pisses me off angers me off because it insults every Everything in me that is I, me, myself, because of the people like Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and Zuckerberg, and so because of this, that you know, a psychiatric mask was artificial intelligence. The real artificial intelligence in my case was a psychiatric violence because that's what people like this uh, British royals have used. They used the psychiatry to, you know, and it was painful so much that I thought that it's going to tear my internal organs apart. And so for some motherfucker to come out like it was the case during MK Ultra and they intimidated that by the time you get the truth out about yourself you're not going to be even able to prove that it was not artificial intelligence that did to you that's beyond disgusting that's why I do it like this you know that's why I do it like this I do it like this so that somebody would not even speculate dare to speculate dare to think about a crime of Elon Musk uh, is actually incomprehensible 
the degree of crime against me by this individual, the way he bullied, the way he carried himself throughout this ordeal with other entrepreneurs, geniuses, gurus, is incomprehensible. He got what he never should have had and whatever he got was stolen from me. And on top of that, the man went ahead and was doing all kinds of stuff to disturb, distract, disturb, destroy, basically, murder. He contributed a lot to my misfortune. Yeah, so what I do is I upgrade this shit and I say to him, I go like, hoo hoo. I said, you know, you ghost worker since age, since year 2008. So you see, most of the people, the algorithms, whatever they would do, logically based guessing, whatever you would do, you would go in this direction. And this is always the direction I take. Sometimes people tell me, no, no, no. And I just keep going through these shortcuts until I actually pinpoint facts that people can understand that, yeah, 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 it's true, it's undeniable. So, after I, I, I'm being told already, no, 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 I proceed and I go and I say 2008, which is rather what nobody would do. Uh, even based on his answers, I shouldn't be doing stuff like this, and I continue to do exactly this. So he says, you, 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 <laughs> he already told me he didn't start in 2012, and I go to 2008. I said, you, you didn't start working in, when you were, uh, when you were in 2008? Really? You still didn't start working? 2011? You started to work in 2011 at least? He says, no. He says, I was born in 1998. Yeah, in 1998. Uh, he says, I'm 24 years old. So he says, if I, if I, what I based on what I stated, nah, you would go back for 14 years, nah. you, know, you understand me? I continue with what my claims, and I said, so if you would go back to uh, to your age, uh, 14 years, if you would go backwards, you mean you would be like 10 years old? And he says, yeah, yeah, exactly, 10 years old. Okay, so in 2008, I figured out he was 10 years old, just 10. 10 years old, you know what 10 years old is? That's like, let me tell you, 10 years old? That's like a third grade of the grammar school? Third grade of the grammar school, third, maybe even fourth grade. Third grade of the grammar school. 10 years old. I like that. I like every information I get. You were 10 years old. So in 2008, you were 10 years old. To me, born in 98, in 2008, you were 10 years old. He says, yes. Uh, but I tell him, when you were 10 years old, you were a very, very big boy. Uh, you were... Uh, above the average of the height um, that you would be at 10 years old and you would be even if you were a tall guy uh -uh. chances that you would be like he tells me 180 centimeters are very very slender uh, but this stuff I am asking him from is not logic or algorithm whatever based uh, 
uh, he was exclusively tall guy yeah there are guys that are bigger than he is there are guys that grow two meters and two meters and ten whatever the fuck and they are not as tall what I'm trying to say is he grew fast exceptionally fast uh, based on statistics based on my memory from the people that were involved in MK Ultra, biologically going through the police investigated through the police based on his pictures and stuff like this that's exactly what investigator will have proven what I stated that he was growing this proportionally fast when compared to other kids even the kids that are taller than he is this is already my memory talking here there's no the algorithm here is already there is no algorithm there is nothing there is no none, none of that stuff that's basically why and I also want to do it like this I also want to explain to you this way because I am mad when I consider the stuff I have stated to you I am mad I'm out of my fucking mind that you were using people like Elon Musk and it was not Elon Musk only it was also other people involved in artificial intelligence that instigated that insulted with issue of artificial intelligence I had absolutely fucking nothing to do with it and I fucking hate it with a passion liars scammers scumbags that have used even a psychiatry that have close to tear apart my internal organs so they could have their way and that's here hmm? that's what I call artificial intelligence that's a real fucking intelligence in my life that's the intelligence that played the main role so I asked him how tall were you he says yeah that is true uh, he said how tall were you when you were at 10 years old uh, 1 meter and 80 1 meter and 80 is a tall boy for the third grader for the grammar school 1 meter and 80 is a very very tall boy so I, I'm not I was not wrong then about that case then you know, he's laughing and says really okay He says, uh, you're not mistaken, you're not mistaken. I said, no, your facial features even remind me of the facial features of psychiatrist Kopsch. Yeah, this kid somewhat looks like psychiatrist Kopsch, and it was psychiatrist Kopsch who intimidated with this exact issue. I could not get mistaken. He asked me if I'm sure that if I'm not mistaken him for somebody. No, I did not. He is asking me about who is psychiatrist Peter Kopsch and so on, but that's a normal. I, I don't mean to to uh, to uh, to scare you or anything like this. He says if he works here, he asked me if the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch works here since he just started to work here at this location, according to him. I said no, but sometimes he did stop here. Yeah. I said, you know, I, as a matter of fact, I started to recall more things about you.
I said, I know you have a beautiful mother. And he says, yeah, but all the mothers are beautiful, which is definitely true. I says, but you have a sister, don't you? He says, no, I do have a brother, not sister. I remember that he has somebody, yeah? And I was sure it was a sister, but he tells me, no, it's a brother I have. I said, brother, okay. I said, but your mom, I am thinking about his mom right now. Did she get divorced, your mom? I know that she was a very beautiful mom. So I, I am pretty sure that, that his wife, actually mother, got divorced. And he says, no, he, she didn't. He's still married. I says, yes, she's still married. Happily married. And right now it looks like I am totally, totally, totally wrong about everything. It looks like really, oh, it kind of looked like, oh, like you would really know who, who this guy is in front of you, yeah? So uh, he's, he does have a brother, not sister, and uh, the mother did not divorce. She is in fact happily married, okay. It looks like I'm in trouble. Uh, I said, now the only way for me is to recall your brother. Uh, your brother, I said, your brother is older than you are. He is older than you. He says, yes, he is. And uh, you are blonde. Yeah, you're blonde. And your brother is older. In the, and he does have a hair. Black hair. Dark hair. And he says, that is true. He's older and he does have a black hair. Okay, so now this is the kind of stuff, the algorithm, logic, whatever guessing is not going to do shit. Yeah, the guy is blonde, very blonde, very light haired, uh, quite light haired. And I go contrary to him. I said, the brother is older than you are and he does have a dark hair and he does give me a green light yes on both of these questions so this here enough is to prove the case undoubtedly that i recall the guy there is no way you can say that i did not recall the guy uh, even in a very very strange circumstances as this uh, i did manage to without actually hearing anything about him, about who, what, how to pull out in a very, very suspicious circumstances, I managed to identify him without any doubt. And I said, because your mother is beautiful, but you know, she is like you, she is like blonde, light-haired. He says, yeah, that also is true, that also is correct. Oh, okay, so then in that case, uh, we say in Slovenian language, she says, Vargu po mami. You are like mom then.
Uh, that's it. That's a really, really, really fast. Uh, I'm going to say for me, the way I see it, this is fast enough. I like this very much because it goes to demonstrate that I identified uh, a person literally uh, when he was as we say in English language goes to working and he knew exactly what ghost working is. If you pay attention to it, you're going to hear that he's laughing and he says maybe and stuff like that. All the way when he was age 10, that is in 2008, and that is as far as good as it gets. So, uh, I like this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you this the whole recording again, and you're going to get this recording right below this video. I like this uh, because it really, really fortifies my case. Yeah, so I pointed out quite a few issues of which the main takeouts here are that uh, he's got older brother, his brother has contrary to him, black hair, and the mother is just like him, like hair. So this is a memory. This is clearly a memory talking here. Um, let's go, and I'm going to play you this. Sorry about this, I am going to do something. This was at home for elderly people in the novel master city. I am gonna connect myself back to the internet like just like this. We're gonna take this here. We're gonna go here. So meanwhile. This is not being intruded through the unprotected Wi-Fi here because it only serves this residence. The problem is elsewhere. The problem is that it's somebody else who is handling these issues. Just so that I demonstrate to you where this recording took place during my during visit to my father, and, uh, and then basically that's that. So this will be it here. You will turn in this direction. And so this here, this is all this, this entire complex, this is a home for elderly people here. All this stuff here that you see. Oh. Yeah, all this, this is home for elderly people, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to position myself here like this. And in Slovenian language, basically, that's what it says. Dom Streši Hopčanu Novo Mesto. So, alright, very cool. Uh, we got that stuff done, and all I got to do now is, yeah, right, okay play this stuff here.
So, there is basically nothing else for me to do than to close this down. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a date and time here. And that's all there is. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.